Hi, I'm Nadia Dixon, the National Director of the Master's Program for Women. I just read the other day that the average American is exposed to up to 10,000 or more messages a day. We are experiencing information warfare. There are so many messages and agendas that are vying for our mind share, that are looking for prime real estate in our minds. As followers of Jesus, we've all been given the gift, the mind of Christ. Jesus said, follow me. And he gave us his spirit and he gave us his mind. And he also gave us an example. When the son of God became the son of man and lived the human experience to show us the way, he actually went through a formation process. In the New Testament, in the book of Luke, in chapter two, verse 52, we get a report of an 18 year span after Jesus' 12th birthday, all we know about him for the next 18 years is that he grew in wisdom, he grew in stature, and he grew in favor with God and favor with men. So for 18 years before Jesus stepped into his life mission, he went through a process of formation. We call that life mastery. All of us, before we step into our life mission, have to follow his, his path, his journey, his model of life mastery. It is so much more important today in this era of information warfare that we have the mind of Christ, that we walk in something that we call in the master's program intellectual fitness. And Jesus gave us that model. It says in the Bible that the, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So Jesus spent time every day with the Father he contemplated the Lord. He spoke with him and he heard back from him. He knew the scriptures. We too have to spend that time with God every day to get his mind on a matter. It says that the carnal mind does not discern and understand the things of the spirit. So it's one thing to get a degree. It's one thing to understand uh, through study, a certain sector or an area on the landscape that we live in. We all live in the natural world, and so we all need natural knowledge. But to know your calling and to walk in your purpose, we need spiritual understanding. We need discernment. This is where intellectual fitness becomes a game changer for followers of Christ. Why is that? It says in Romans chapter 12, verse 2, not to align our minds with the mindset of the world, but to be transformed by the renewing of our minds. That by testing, um, we can discern what is, the per what is the good, what is the acceptable, and what is the perfect will of God. And as that applies to our kingdom assignment and to our purpose and our calling in God, this is where it becomes critical because we're surrounded by information and deception and corruption but through the mind of Christ and through the discerning process of the spiritual mind, the mind set on God, we can sift and discern through all the information around us to actually receive revelation, the things that are relevant for our calling and our purpose. To do that, we have to practice balance, margin, and focus in the spirit of our mind and with our intellectual fitness. I invite you to learn more about what intellectual fitness looks like for you. It's, it's absolutely as personal as your calling. But to discover that, I'm asking you to participate in something that we call a briefing. It's just a high level overview of this life mastery, this formation process um, that we've created a program in the master's program for. Life mastery and then life mission. So what does intellectual fitness look like for you? It's, it's unique for everyone and you'll be accountable for what you need to know and what you don't need to know. Why don't you join us for the next briefing? The link below will get you the information that you need and um, it'll give you an opportunity to learn a little bit more about what I'm talking about. Until then, I'm Nadia Dixon and I'm in your corner.